Hey guys, and welcome back to another Random Distractions gameplay experience uh, where we're playing Batman the Telltale series. And in the last one, we uh, had the opportunity to make a phone call during a fight uh, set up by John. And um, we decided instead to stop the fight. So we'll see if we can still figure out a way to get out of there without having to do that. Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. I tried to stop it. The, the whole thing was the sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland. Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah, I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. Uh, What's that about? <laughs> mm. Downtown Gotham, 123 p.m. I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. <laughs> Selena. Heard you got out so crazy. <laughs> Miss Kyle's keeping in touch from wherever she is now. In other news, if you've uh, yep, still crazy. Been a lot quieter recently. You're not alone. The still crazy. I had to be go home. I bet. Violent crime in the past few days. I saw what happened with us. Just wanted to make sure you're okay. I hear Harv is out for blood. Many are attributing it to the decrease. Uh, sounds like he wants you dead. Uh, members seem to be taking some time off. Could use partner again. It's just our new mayor Dent making good on his campaign promise. Come back and help. Bring down crime in the city. Either way, this can't busy with something else. Sorry. You're a good man, Bruce. You should know that. Talk to you later. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. 
can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. Harvey, listen to me. I know what you think happened, but Selena and I are just friends. Period. Don't tell me what I think happened! You're a goddamn liar. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? I'm tired, I'm hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job! Oof. Shut up, Alfred, I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. No to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? Hmm. What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Here. It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. Yeah, the drugs are still messing with him really bad. Oh, just get us home, Al. Fast. <sighs> I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey has turned Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. It's true. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with a DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Okay.
All right, looks like we have some updated codex in uh, Gotham feed here. So let's take a look here. Uh, John Doe. My time in Arkham was short, but one patient in particular left a big impression on me. I didn't catch his name, but I won't ever forget his face or his laugh. He's like some kind of creepy circus clown. He gave me invaluable invaluable assistance in uncovering Vicky's true identity and her missing drug stash. But there's something about him so unsettling I couldn't bring myself to agree to granting him a favor. Yes, it would have been an empty promise, but the very idea of owing him anything is not a pleasant thought. And there's a new one here. Wayne Tech. Wayne Enterprises is a corporate conglomerate, and Wayne Tech handles our telecommunications branch through phones, computers, and other technological devices. Lucius built a backdoor into the Wayne Tech system for Batman so I could monitor the city and keep Gotham safe. But the children of Markham have found a way to access the same information, and while they can't spy on Batman, it won't stop them from spying on the rest of the city. Hmm. Got the feed. Mayor Dent's private security raises concerns. Uh, new elected, new, newly elected Gotham Mayor Harvey Dent has barely moved into City Hall, but it's already apparent this administration will be quite different than the last. Look no further than the mayor's recently appointed private security team manning the checkpoints throughout the city. Though a spokesperson for the mayor says the checkpoints have been set up in the interest of public safety, they decline to say where the newly hired officers come from. One thing's for sure, however, and that's the chain of command. Those new officers report directly to Mayor Dent. Mayor Dent ran as a, a law and order candidate, and with these new and check new and huh? with these new and checkpoints, Gotham will see that promise enacted for better or worse. Hmm. Wayne out of Arkham in less than forty eight hours. Gotham's most famous billionaire inmate barely had time to warm up his bunk at Arkham Asylum before he walked out the front doors a free man. Bruce Wayne was arrested two days ago after assaulting incoming Wayne Enterprise CEO Oswald Cobblepot at a press conference on the steps of the Wayne Building. The press conference was called after an emergency vote by the board of Wayne Enterprises to remove Wayne as CEO, citing recent troubling revelations about the Wayne family. Many felt his erratic behavior would lead to an extended stay in Gotham's notorious mental health facility, but less than 48 hours after being admitted, Wayne's release was secured by the Gotham City Police Department. Department officials had no comment on the matter. Mary claims credit for drop in COA crime. While the GCPD's newly released crime statistics show an overall rise in violent crime across Gotham, the number of incidents involving the so-called children of Arkham have dropped since the mayor's self-appointed enforcement squads have taken to the streets. <clears throat> in a fiery speech on the steps of City Hall, Mayor Harvey Dent took credit for the reduction in COA activity, claiming that the streets of Gotham would be lost without his personal leadership. However, Mayor Dent is not without his critics. Civil liberties activists issued a statement calling Mayor Dent's new policies militaristic and bordering on fascist. The statement also blamed Dent for the overall rise in crime, suggesting that the mayor's enforcement squads contributed to a growing climate of chaos, eh, of, of chaos, of and fear in Gotham. All right, I I don't think I'm reading this wrong. I think there is maybe some uh, typos here. Contributed to a growing climate of chaos, of and fear in Gotham. Maybe. I don't know. Missing Gazette reporter may be COA kidnapping. Gotham City Police now believe that missing Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale may have been kidnapped by the self-proclaimed leader of the Children of Arkham. In a video statement released late last night on the internet, the mysterious leader claimed to have kidnapped Vale as well as taken responsibility for a number of criminal acts, including thefts and targeted violence throughout the city. No motive for the kidnapping was given, although most assume that some of or all of Vale's journalism must have provoked the abduction. The GCPD has urged staff of all, at all major Gotham media outlets to use caution and consider additional security measures. GCPD officer linked to Falcone killing returns to the force. Rene Montoya, the GCPD officer who allegedly shot mob boss Carmine Falcone, returned to duty this week after the GCPD Office of Internal Affairs dropped, dropped its investigation. The department found that Sergeant Montoya was not responsible for her actions after finding evidence that she had been drugged against her will with a powerful mind-altering substance. Her assailant has yet to be identified, although police suspect that the children of Arkham are involved. 
The scandal around Falcone killing continues to be the subject of intense interest and speculation amid reports that billionaire Bruce Wayne offered to testify in Montoya's defense. It is unknown that if any relationship exists between Wayne and Sergeant Montoya. The GCPD continues to investigate a shootout involving Montoya while she was on administrative leave following the Falcone killing. The GCPD refused to comment on Montoya's involvement. However, the district attorney's office told Gazette reporters that Sergeant Montoya is in of, of any wrongdoing. All right. Well, I will go ahead and stop it here before we take a look at these samples. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, we're definitely going to have to see if we can get this stuff out of him before he can continue. Uh, otherwise, I think it would have compromised uh, whatever he was trying to do. So... Uh, would definitely appreciate a like, of course, on the video, and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next one drops. And until then, hope you have a good one.